Yeah, uh, this is part two of Satanists have been ruling America uh, pretty much since the beginning. Yeah, uh, this person lived, uh, you know, to be, what, so, uh, 18, uh, 90 years old and was born in 1882. Nothing like a Baphomet pentagram to, you know, put on your gravestone when you die. And here's uh, her husband. Yeah. It seems like these uh, these Freemasons really like to marry uh, these Baphomet witches. Yeah. Who knows what's behind me here? Ancient stone... Uh, we'll just take a walk through this. These are very old graves, wealthy people. Uh, we'll just randomly walk through here to see what we can find with symbolism. Yeah. I wonder if all these people had to wear a mask back in the day. Uh, I doubt it. Oh, here we go. Here's Edgar McClintock, who died in 1887. And as you can see, he's one of them. As above, so below. Don't let him fool you. It's not a boys club. And here we've got a German. Peter Kuhn, and here's his wife, and there's little George Kuhn with his, you know, German symbolism. Escapees from World War One, I, I guess. Who knows? There's a plethora of information down here if you just look around. I never noticed it before until I uh, started getting, you know, a little more woke, as they say, to my surroundings. But, uh, yeah, there's lots of Satanists who've gone and died and left their legacy, and it just keeps going on and on and on. I don't seem to be finding anything at the moment here. No idea what that is. That's weird. I'll take a walk over here, see what's up. Wow, look, that gravestone is old. You can't even read it. Looks like a movie prop. I'm not seeing any symbols on these over here. Like in the other part of the cemetery. Oh, here we go. It doesn't take long. This person died in 1914. I wonder what they were up to in 1874. I bet it wasn't good. All right. I'm keep walking here. I need to find a girlfriend. I need somebody to walk with me. Somebody who like is interested in this kind of stuff. All right, here's some symbols. I don't know what they are. Get in on that. I presume, and look, now his wife, hers is different. So they belong to this club, and then the wife gets in on the action. That's how you. That's how it is down here. All the you'll see the Freemason on the men, and then the women have the Eastern Star, the inverted pentagram, and everybody knows what that means. They don't let them lie to you. These people are up to no good. <sighs> Let's see. I'm 
not seeing much in this area here. Every once in a while I stumble up on one, but up on the other hill, uh, the camera cut out. That's why I had to make a part two. I didn't want to erase that <laughs> because I'm just taking a random walk, so I didn't even know where I'd been to go film it again. But yeah, basically, uh, in the rich parts of these cemeteries, there's Freemason symbolism all over the place and Eastern Star Witches, which is really troubling because you know, uh, you know how easy it would be back in those days to make people disappear? Very easy. All right, you guys. I've been meaning to make this video for a while just to make a point, I guess, to no one in particular. Have a good day and peace.